Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. I'm Amir. Uh, I'm a product manager at CryptoSat. Um, and what we do is that we build trust infrastructure uh, for, for Web3. Um, and we, we do that by launching satellites that are able to run cryptographic uh, computations. Um, and before we get into that, we just very, very proud to, to share uh, the, the launches of our two satellites. Um, the first one was of May of last year, almost exactly one year. Um, and the second launch um, happened this January. So, so now we have two satellites in, in space that are able to do re really cool things for uh, web three applications. This is a little, a little bit of our, our, our milestone. Uh, one recent thing that we're pretty proud of is that we participated uh, in the KZG ceremony uh, this April. Um, the, the, the Ethereum KZG ceremony, um, what this means is that we got our, our, contri our, our contribution uh, from our satellite and then sent it back uh, to the sequencer. A little bit about the architecture. Essentially, the, these are CubeSats. So these are very small boxes that can fit on, on your desk. Um, after we launch them into space, uh, we're essentially able to provide a pretty standard REST API through our, our, our AWS infrastructure um, that is responsible for communicating with the satellites um, and making sure that your YouTube requests are uh, responded to. And with, with that in mind, I think we're ready to jump into the demo. This is the CryptoSat uh, simulator. Uh, what this does is sh sh show us where, where our satellites are in, in relation uh, to, to Earth. These are low Earth orbit satellites. Um, so essentially, they change sometimes depending on on the, the time of day. So they have to be in range of a ground station for us to be able to communicate with them. That's obviously something that a lot, a lot of users are, are thinking about before being able to adopt this in production environments. Um, and that's also something that we are always improving based on launching new satellites. Our next launch is scheduled for, for this year. And also, with every launch, we also improve our capability to communicate with the satellites. Um, you know, since this is uh, our, our, our company is called CryptoSat, I think the first thing that people are interested in is, you know, what, what is the, the the way to communicate with the satellites? So, a uh, first way to know that you're communicating with the satellite and not with anything else is using the CryptoSat uh, public keys. Um, this is a key that it, that anything that is provided uh, by a satellite will, will be signed with. Um, if, if we can, I can also present it in a better way. This is the public key. Um, if we want uh, to, to verify, and we will in the, in the next section, that this is how we verify that what uh, was provided to us was actually signed by the satellite. I should have mentioned before that th this is a key that was generated in space. So we, it, it, it was never on Earth. Once the satellite gets launched, we run a, uh, a key pitch generation. And we publish only the, the public key. So the, so the private key was never on Earth and never will be. A example, um, the idea being that, you know, if you want uh, a timestamp for, 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 for the satellite, the satellite keeps track of its own time. Um, it will return it, and you, you can also verify that the time step that you received was in fact uh, created by the satellite or sent by the satellite. A next use case that uh, is, is recently we've seen some interest in is you know your standard randomness. You, you probably heard, heard of TTRAND. Um, the idea here is that you can request um, a public random number from from DRAN, uh, so sorry, from CryptoSat, um, and then ver verify that indeed this was uh, you know, a random number that was generated by the satellite. 
here we're talking about a different flow where you it'll be a private num random number. Essentially, how this would work is um, you would create a client, you would create a, a key pair uh, on your on your c computer. You would give the satellite the public key, and and the satellite will encrypt the timestamp with the the the, the random number with your uh, public key. So only you have access to that random number. So pretty long flow. So in the sake of time, I will skip through it. Um, this is a demonstration on on how the satellite can sign messages on behalf of of, of users. Um, pretty similar to what we said before. Um, and, and a nice use case here is the tele encryption. If if, if you have ever thought about like seal bit auction, for example, this is where this could be a, a interesting use case. The ability to create um, a a key pair, publish the, the the public key. Everyone can encrypt um, their bids uh, before the time uh, expires, and 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 then once the time expires, uh, the, the the private key will will, will be released, and the results of the the auction will be known. We also have a uh, a uh, test cord where we do a little bit more like debugging for people that that you know they're, they're trying to use it, um, but they need some help. For example, um, that's a great place to go. Um, and, and obviously, uh, we're, we're we're on like Twitter and, and LinkedIn too. So um, I'll share all the all the the info um, right after the demo.